I think some of you thought that sorting things was organizing things, which means making things clean and tidy. But that's not what sorting is. Sorting is making groups of things, okay? So if you have a pile of stuffed animals, a pile of balls, and a pile of shoes, how could you sort that? Jackson? It's kind of all together, like shoes, toys, and the, um... We can have a pile of stuffed animals, a pile of shoes, and a pile of balls, right? Yeah. Or we can have brown stuffed animals and brown balls and brown shoes, red and stuffed animals. Red, red, yep. So that's what sorting is, is grouping things, okay? So, um, Giovanni, do you want to turn off all the lights for us? Yeah. Boys and girls, if you have a sweatshirt on the floor, put it on the back of your chair. I see a lot of I can see where some people could trip, okay? So let's talk about, are you done, Jojo? Okay. Let's talk about sorting shapes. What do you guys think? What are some ways we can sort shapes? How can we put shapes into different groups? What's one way, Katie? So you can put like all the pink ones in the line and then you can put all the yellow ones in the other line. Okay. And then you can put like the blue ones in the other line. So by color. Yeah, by color. By color, that's a great idea. And that is one of the ways you can sort shapes. What's another way we could sort shapes? Um, Jensen. We could we do it by shapes. Can you explain that? So, like, if you had a toy that was soiled, you would put dust together. Okay? And white candles and circles and triangles and... Yeah, you can sort it by shape. All the triangles go somewhere, all the squares go somewhere. That's a great idea. So you can sort by shape. What's another way we can we can sort shapes? Um, let's do Sadie. You can sort them by lighter and darker. So that's kind of like color. That would be that would be like color. No, if there's like light stuff, like you will put it in a light pile. Yeah. But if there's really like really dark, dark stuff, that's you can put it idea. in another pile. But if there's like medium, you can put it in the middle. Yeah. That will, that's kind of like it's like shades. So that's kind of like color. It's yeah. a really good idea. Mm -hmm. Alex. by shape. What about, what did we learn about yesterday? We learned about something about shapes. Uh, Kyle? Seeing if they don't have the, um, the hooks on them or do what they were those have the hooks? What were those hooks called or those points? What were they called? Go ahead and Close. Florida. 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 So we can actually sort them by vertices. Who can raise their hand and tell me how we could do that? How can we sort them by vertices? What do you think, Harper? The round ones don't have sides. The round ones don't have vertices, so could we put them all in a pile? No. What's another, what, how's another way that we could organize or sort by vertices? Um, Camden? Um, you can, uh, like, I was talking about what the, the thing that you sort out shape of. You could, like, say all the straight ones have a little bit of mercy. You put them in that pile and then put all the circles in the pile or the diamond or the wall. Right, so if we say we want a pile of shapes that have three vertices. What shapes could go into that pile? Triangle. Triangle, right? And vertices. Okay, if we said we wanted a shape that, uh, we want a pile of shapes that have four vertices, what, what shapes could go in that pile? And go ahead and say it out loud. Square. Square. Rhombus. Square. Rectangle. 
That's right. So that's a way we can. And that's another like way we can too. sort shapes. And the trap is like two. What if I said, um, I want a pile of shapes that has less than four vertices. Circles and the what? Eight. What if I say less than? What's less than mean? No more than four vertices. What shapes could go in that pile? Uh, Benson. Triangles and circles. Triangles and circles. They could go in that pile. That pile. All right. So now that we know we can sort by vertices, what's the other thing that we learned about yesterday? You can sort by Killian. Um, you can put it in a different box. Okay. What were what were these things called of a shape? Rows. That's called sides. Sides. We could we could sort them by sides, and that would be really similar to sorting by vertices, right? Okay. There's one more, and there's the, if you look at these shapes, I'll give you a big hint. There's one more thing that we could sort the shapes by, and it's kind of like I'll give you a hint. It's like. Levi? A trapezoid. Another way that we could that we could sort shape is by bigger and smaller. Bigger and smaller, what's that called? Small and big. It's called size, right? We can sort it by size. Could we have a pile of small circles yeah. and small squares and then big circles and big squares? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so we can do it by size. So let's read the ways we can we can sort some of these shapes. We can sort them by color, say color, shape, vertices, size, and size. All right, so now you guys get to help me decide how these next shapes are sorted. So let's look at these shapes right here. Let's look, don't call out, look at these shapes, look at each, each block, and tell me, how are these shapes sorted? What are they sorted by? by color. So we're going to write color over here. Good job, guys. All right. What about this section right here? I'll give you guys a second to look at that. What is this section sorted by? Oh, Kinley, don't call out. That's rude. This one's kind of a fun one. Kyle, what do you think? They're all different sizes. Thumbs up if you thought they were sorted by size. Thumb, or raise your hand if you thought something different. Does anybody think anything different? We all thought size. Good job. They are sorted by size. And even though they're different shapes, that's okay because they're, they're all small. They're all medium and they're all large. So they all have different, they all are in similar sizes. All right, what about this one down here? Look at this one. This one's a little tricky. Jensen? Shapes. It's shape. This this is what tricked me right here. Because that almost looks like a rhombus, because sometimes rhombuses are like up and they look like a diamond. Yeah. But if we turned that, it would actually be a, a square because rhombuses are kind of crooked yeah. if you put them upside down. So this is um, organized by shape. Thumbs up if that's what you thought. So we have these organized by color or sorted by color, these sorted by size, and these sorted by shape. All right, we have one more. Is that what a ring is? All right, let's look at this last one. Really pay attention to this section. I can barely see. Give everybody a little bit more 
time because this one's a little more trickier. Kinley, what do you think? So you were kind of thinking by position, position and what they look like? That's a good guess. Um, what do you think, Harper? All the circles are in the pile and all the squares are Well, let's look at this. What shape is this? Trapezoid. Trapezoid. What shape is this? Trapezoid. Trapezoid. And remember, it starts with rhombus. Rhombus. So that first square has some different shapes. So what do you guys think it's organized by, Jensen? Jackson, sorry. <laughs> Like a triangle and then act like a 